Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a lock video. As you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be dyeing my hair, coloring my hair, and I'm going to be getting a basic retwist. But the fun in that is I've never had just a basic retwist. If you guys look over my channel and look at my lock videos, I always get a style. Like I always get some kind of style. And that's because I just feel like, I don't know, I've never experienced it, so I guess this would be my time to see. But Retwists just don't last that long to me. Like Courtney, um, somebody who is very impatient with her hair, Courtney's my fiance who does my hair. She is very impatient with her hair because her hair gets itchy and stuff like that. So she always takes her style down within a week and like her retwists that comes from that style being down just goes like in no time. So I've seen from her experience that retwists don't seem to me like they last that long. So I never just wanted a basic retwist with nothing else. But I'm actually excited to do it. I'm excited to get it done and see if I like it. But I also want to color my hair because I told you guys in a few videos ago, I think, I don't know which video, I don't know, but I told you guys I dyed my hair black. I didn't feel like recording it because I just felt like it's black. It's not that big of a change. It's not that big of a difference. Since I'm not getting the style portion done, so at least I can add that in there in case people are wondering like, your hair look darker. People just who skip through videos or haven't watched the last video and they see my next video, if they're wondering like, did she color her hair? Is her hair naturally that black? If they're new, no. So it'll be on my channel if people can just reference this. No, my hair is not naturally that dark. So I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm dying it black. This is actually dark brown, but the brand I like to use is Beijing. I really like Beijing. I also use Beijing to tint my eyebrows and I did that because I know that a lot of men use it to make their beards darker. So I was like, if they can put it on the face, I can put it on the eyebrows. So I started using it to tint my eyebrows. I love it because when I tint my eyebrows, they don't change. I got dark two boxes of dark brown, and then I got one box of oriental black because this is jet, jet, jet black, and I'm only gonna do it on my roots. I'm not gonna go over my whole head. I like that some of my locks at the ends are like kind of faded because it gives it that, like I said, chocolate highlight effect, but I am gonna go in and do all my roots because I want it to look really good, and I'm gonna take it down and lengthen my hair as, as much as I can to just make sure it, like, it blends well because there are some locks that have faded from the dark from the black ends but my priority today is just my roots and as much I can get down with my hair but it's just my roots I'm basically dying my my um, new growth because I thought if you get dye your hair black like oh uh, he wouldn't have to dye a new growth as much and it's kind of true I haven't dyed my hair for three months but in the sun is where my hair it really shows like you can see that some of my locks are dark and then in the sun my my um, roots are like brown like bright brown in the sun and I also feel like that black is gonna make that basic retweet is pop like my hair being so crisp and black that my parts are gonna pop like my hair is gonna look so good it's gonna look so fresh so I'm just excited to see how this comes out let me just show you I'm take my hair down Ooh, this is a full now you can kind of see how it's like dark down here and then look at my roots like you can see that brown. Now you can kind of see what I'm talking about. We moved if you have not been keeping up. So I am trying to figure out this background when I do videos in front of my door because the house is all dark wood, all cherry wood. Like even this is the closet door to my closet in my beauty room and then this is the door to leave. And it and this is the window sills. Like everything in this house is dark. We love it, but it's not that great for my beauty videos and stuff like that. It's not that great. You know what I'm saying? Like for me to sit in front of here with dark hair, like low key I should've went blonde so I can contrast the door, whatever. I'm sorry if you guys are having like a heart of seeing, I don't even know. I gotta figure this out. Okay guys, so I went to the kitchen. I got a clear bowl, cause I don't want this dye to stain any of my bowls. So I got a clear one so I don't have to worry about that. It should wash right out of here, no problem. And then I went and got some water and a measuring cup so I can measure out for all the um, water I need. I'm just gonna use the end of a mascara wand to mix it up, cause it's here. Comes with instructions, comes with this little tray. This tray is to tell you how much to, to use to mix it. This side just holds the stuff, but this is the actual measurement side. This is what the little bottle looks like. And it comes with gloves, and I'll show you what the gloves look like, but I'm not gonna use their gloves because they kind of suck. I'm gonna use my esthetician gloves so I can make sure I can get up in there and feel what I'm doing. So if you're gonna use the entire bottle that comes with the box and not just some of it, you fill this part half all the way up. Like they tell you if you're using a portion of it, fill it up to here, up to here, up to here, but I'm using the entire bottle of each pack, so I'm gonna fill it all the way up. Yeah. I'm just gonna use the same tray to fill up um, 
it three times because I'm using three different bottles. They're just three different colors, but I, I don't need that. All the trays are the same for each pack, no matter what the color. So I'm just gonna do it three times total. So for three bottles, this is how much water I have. I'm just gonna pour the whole bottle in there. And Courtney keeps on telling me, I, I don't really know, but maybe I can read the box, that would be good. But Courtney's telling me this is vegetable henna hair dye. Last bottle, and just a powder, if you didn't know. It's like a little powder. And I poured, this is the last bottle. So don't forget two, I did two dark browns and one oriental black. Cause I wanna go for jet black, but I really don't have a ball. So here's me. I'll just put one black in there. We'll see what happens. And now I'm just mixing it up. We're gonna do this. this in for about 30 to 40 minutes it's not hair dye so it's not gonna cause damage as far as I know left last time I left it on as long as I wanted to and my hair didn't fall out so yeah um, I'm gonna clean up this mess and I gotta wash the dishes that are in the sink so I can wash my hair so that should give me time for this to process and we're gonna wash it out the next day I'm gonna get my hair done today I actually just woke up my hair is still wet yeah it's definitely still wet but I didn't dry it at all like I literally didn't blow dry it or anything I just um, towel dried it and then um, I left it out for like maybe an hour I left it just hanging on my back and then before I went to bed I put it in my lock sock so this is the day I'm gonna get my hair done but I do not recommend you not drying your locks I'm getting my hair done today. Like I'm literally getting it washed again in like a couple hours. And I'm going to um, get it retwisted and sit under the actual dryer. So do not not dry your locks. Don't do what I just did. But yeah, I like how the black looks. Sorry, my air just came on. And it's not too harsh of a black because I know I'm pale as you guys can see. So too dark of a black can come off a little on me. So I feel like that dark brown mixture with the black was actually perfect because it's just, it's not too black, you know, like, you don't, it just doesn't look like boom, like, I just love dark hair. It's not a game, it's a red skin.
break on that beat going crazy So this is the end of the video. This is what my hair looked like. I feel like I look like a naked mole rat. It's fine. Wow. It would look cute in a couple of days. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If y'all didn't know, I'm taller than Courtney. Now y'all can see. <laughs> Girl, you show them them uh, motherfucking platform shoes you got on. Exactly. I'm still taller than her. No, you're not. By, by an inch. I'm 6'3". Stop playing with All me. All right. That's it.